Sign up at the end of this review to get my personal gear list. Hey there, Stan Makita here from The Acoustic Letter. Today we're gonna look at the Guild M120, but before we do so, I'm gonna invite you to take a slap shot at a subscription to The Acoustic Letter. You'll be very, very happy that you did so. The Guild M120 is a very fine guitar. It's also a very tiny guitar. The Guild M120 is borderline travel. In fact, we've had a couple people write in and say, hey, how does this stack up to the GS Mini? Don't worry, we have that one in our queue. But today our focus is on just the M120. And as I said, it's a small guitar. It's made out of all solid mahogany, the top, back, and sides. Underneath the top, we have scalloped X bracing. We have a rosewood bridge with a new bone saddle, black pick guard with mother of pearl rosette, a rosewood fingerboard with small dot inlay, an inch and 11 16 new bone nut, and a classic guild art deco style headstock with matching open gear butter bean tuners. This guitar for how small it is plays really, really well. It has a slim profile mahogany neck and it sounds very, very unique. It's quite boxy sounding and really perfect for some of those kind of ragtime finger style instrumentals. On the strumming, it gives you as much as it possibly can, but its focus is definitely on the mid range and the high end. So we're going to give the Guild M120 a play so you can hear what it sounds like. Click the link to get the world's best acoustic guitar reviews sent to your inbox. Why? Because it's free and it's the easiest way to get prices and high-res photos of each guitar. Plus, as soon as you sign up, you'll get the free tabs and lessons for the songs I play in my guitar reviews. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this button.